Have you ever wondered if you'll ever experience joy? I mean true joy, or happiness? Do you sometimes ask yourself what is needed to change your life around? I did. Science say that happiness is a mental and or emotional state of well-being defined by positive or pleasant emotions ranging from absolute contentment and joy. But science also says that 50% of our happiness is genetic. So if you come from a long line of people having a mood disorder you might have it too, which will definitely affect your happiness. And there's more. Apparently, 10% is environmental, and since you single-handedly cannot change your environment, we are not going to let that bother us. But what science says about the last percentage is the most interesting, 40% of your happiness is within your control. Which means it may be your beliefs, your job, how you see the world, etc. Well if that is so, then let's focus on the 40% within your control. Here are three easy steps to start today to bring you to that mental and emotional state of well-being you crave. Three things you need to do to burst with joy to secure your happiness. You need to start by learning and implementing these secrets. 1. Stop trying to please everyone around you. You might be an empath and feel the pain of everyone else. You might find it difficult to say no to others even when you don't want to say yes. You might be the type of person that runs to everyone's rescue. Some of these people may mean the world to you, but you cannot do everything for everyone. You don't need anyone to approve of you. You don't always have to make someone else happy if you are going to be unhappy afterward. What you need to do is respect to say no to people. You have a life of your own and that life should come first. Often people who are people pleasers end up being taken advantage of a lot, and the truth is, nobody wants to be taken advantage of. Most people guard their heart and act less than nice just because they fear being taken advantage of. But because you are such a helper you get taken advantage of too often. You might know this is happening but you just can't seem to make it stop. The best way to stop it is to say no whenever you are not in the position to help. Instead, concentrate on living your life to please the only person whose approval you can't be happy without you. What you think of yourself is much more important than what other people think of you. Seneca 2. Never let your career decide your worth. We all need to work for a living, and often that means we rely on someone else recognizing our worth, acknowledging it, and rewarding us. That's how we advance in our careers, which is fine. From a young age, we have been taught to show our worth to our boss, which is also fine since you need to prove yourself suitable for your job. The danger is, however, basing your worth solely on what you've accomplished professionally. This is an absolute the way to becoming unhappy. When you do this, you are letting someone else decide your value. Of course, you should work hard and put your all into your job professionally. However, do not let that be your only driving force for happiness. Instead accept the rewards of your hard work, promotions, incentives, pay raise with love and don't do more than is needed of you. Many times we try to impress our boss by doing way more than is expected to get that promotion. But what if the boss simply doesn't acknowledge your hard work? Of course, you'll feel unhappy. Instead, base your happiness on your own recognition and chose what you value the most. 3. Don't go searching for happiness. Most of us search for happiness. We believe that if we actively go after that which we want, we will instantly become the happiest version of ourselves. This couldn't be further from the truth. Think about all the time you set out to achieve a goal. Even though you made a plan to achieve it, you encountered major setbacks caused by circumstances out of your control. Logically you start to feel anxious, doubtful and afraid. These become your dominant feelings, even if subconsciously. These emotions are of a lower vibration, while happiness is a higher vibration. What happens is the lower vibrations slow the higher vibrations down. So if you want to be happy, give up on the thought of being happy. Instead, base your happiness on today. The only time you can actually experience the feeling of happiness is in the present.
The past is gone and cannot be changed, and the future is uncertain. Now is the only time you are actually alive, can act, and can decide to be happy. Now is where all the wonders happen. Now is when you should live. I'm not saying that you shouldn't plan for the future, you actually should. It is healthy to set goals, setting goals and reaching them gives meaning to life. But it is more important to live in the now. First with joy today. Imagine waking up in the morning, why energized with a smile on your face, getting ready to do the job you love instead of worrying about the stressful day ahead at work. And while at work, imagine not stressing for one minute. Why? Because you know that you have the ability to respect to say no to people, especially to those to use you. Think about how good that will make you feel. Not only will it uplift your spirit but it will also ward off the users and abusers out of your life. Understanding and implementing these three happiness rules will certainly transform your life. But remember, all good habits need time to build. So take your time, implement these rules and welcome true